the best so itinerant So just relax Oh just relax Turn on, turn and drop out if you can And just relax Oh just relax We're breathing in, breathing out Oh, oh So just relax Most of the time. Most of the time. Stereo's getting too loud. Mustard seeds on the ground. Our rhyme must be so wet, I bet. Too much honey will put you in dust. Stop giving yourself a cold sweat. So just relax. Oh, just relax. It's currently uh, half past one in the morning. <laughs> fun times. But Brussels was amazing. Like it was so fun. Okay, the it was a bumpy journey to actually get to the flex bus. Let me tell you this wild story real quickly. Okay, so I got ready completely in time. I was ready for this bus to get me to the flex bus. I had to catch a city bus to get to the meeting point where the flex bus would take us to Brussels. So. I calculated the right time I would need to get there and um, I left on time, got to the bus stop, realized I had forgotten my passport, which is a necessity when traveling with Flixbus. So I had to sprint all the way back to my apartment, grab my passport and sprint all the way back to the bus stop. By that time, I had missed that bus and I had to catch the next one. I was in such a rush though that I didn't realize I was on the wrong side of the road because they are two, the, all the buses are numbered and I need to catch, needed to catch bus 15 and there are two bus 15s, one that goes one route and one that goes like the same route but backwards and I was on the wrong side of that. So I went in the complete wrong direction, realized like four stops afterwards, completely lost my shit because by now I was meant to be at the meeting point in two minutes because that was when the Flix bus was going to arrive. And I just, I, I lost it. I got off at the stop I could. And uh, I realized the next bus going the right way would only get me there in half an hour. But technically, it was only a five to six minute drive away. It's just because it did a long loop and there were so many fucking stops. So I decided to bite the bullet and just get a taxi, which are notoriously expensive. But especially in Luxembourg, because it's Luxembourg, everything is expensive here. It was hella expensive. On the drive to this meeting point, I got messages from my friends saying that the bus had arrived and they were trying to stall the driver by talking to him. And uh, I got there and lo and behold, they were talking to the driver, stalling him outside, trying to ask him to wait for me. Um, I got out, he checked out tickets to make sure they were valid. And he was like, oh, you're not actually coming with me. This is going a different way. This isn't your Flix bus. So all that panic, all that stress for nothing, our flex bus turned out to be 45 minutes late, came in 45 minutes later, I could have caught a bus, I didn't have to pay for a fucking taxi or freak out like that. So that was fun, that was a really fun way to start the day. I honestly thought I was going to have to catch a train to Brussels to make it, because I thought I was just going to miss the bus. And it was about a three hour bus trip, a good rest, we got there at about 10, we met up with a friend there, um, and it was, it was so fun. We didn't do like anything crazy, we didn't intentionally seek out the sights, except the pissing man. I had to see him, he was quite disappointing, honestly, he is so fucking tiny, he's so small, I was like, is that the main attraction, that's what we 
came down this alleyway for and all the replicas for like certain restaurants and chocolate shops and whatever were bigger and better looking than the actual statue that was disappointing then we just literally wandered around we went to the botanical gardens which were beautiful we sat and spoke for a while we went to this rooftop bar which was pretty cool and we played some card games because we're children and to further prove this point i then demanded that we go get waffles because i needed a belgian waffle right then and there so we skipped off with my friends acting completely, specifically one of them acting completely insane and energized and whatever. She was clearly the American of the group. I went and got my waffle. I was very pleased with it. It was slightly burnt, so I'm gonna have to give it an 8 out of 10. I, I had it with Belgian, cho do Belgian dark chocolate. Our friend, our other friend unfortunately had to leave and it was just the three of us again. And we found this really insane cube thing on our way back to our bus at about nine at night and decided it would be a good idea to climb on it like children and then we went and caught our bus and we were all really dead and tired and screaming internally inside another three hour bus trip and we are back home it was really beautiful it was great i really enjoyed it uh i feel like we probably could have done a lot more and seen a lot more but it was just a chill day in brussels with friends like it was enjoyable none of us wanted it to be the super intense touristy thing and all of us had the opportunity to go back again if we wanted to so it was really good i feel like it's quite a small city and just by walking around it for under an hour we saw most of the things to see at least the pretty big buildings and churches and gardens and whatever we we got to see that so yeah i'm sure there are hidden treasures that we missed but that's what the future's for and now i need a fucking sleep i'm so tired i had four hours of sleep the night before and um i'm kind of dead inside and outside okay i i gotta go to bed i needed this needs to end good night have a good sleep or good morning have a good day. Bye. So just relax. Oh, just relax. Turn on, turn and drop out if you can.